Hi, my name is Michael Chow, and in this screencast, I'm going to do a live analysis in Python as part of the Tidy Tuesday project. For those of you who don't know, Tidy Tuesday is a project where every week they release a new data set, and then people will analyze the data in different ways and share their results and plots online so they can compare what they did to others and see what other approaches are out there. Um, so I'm going to be doing it on the uh, NHL data here. Uh, this was just released today, or uh, rather they release it Monday so people can do analyses and get everything ready and then share the results Tuesday. Uh, so let's get things, kick things in gear. Uh, I'm going to go to this folder, so March 3rd, and just take a quick look uh, at the data. Um, it's worth noting uh, for every data set they usually have uh, a source and often an article that was used uh, to uh, that the data was used in. Um, so this is NHL hockey goals. I have no idea how hockey works. Uh, I mean, I have a rough idea, but I, I don't really follow it much. Um, I take it that 700 goals is a maybe a, a big accomplishment. So um, so this is a good place to start. You can look and see what's out there, how they visualize the data. So they're showing kind of the magnitude of 700 goals and different ways to carve it. Um, it looks like these are the top eight um, people, or uh, eight people who have over 700 goals. Um, Wayne Gretzky, I think that's a classic name. Uh, let's see, so yeah, this is goals, it looks like over time, or rather uh, over their age. Um, Let's see, so it looks like this person actually started later than a lot of players, uh, who maybe started like 18 or something. Um, and then uh, by century mark. So this is um, where century is 100 goals. So, uh, and then I take it these are games, maybe on the x-axis. All right, anyways, let's pull the data and just uh, get started. I have a, I think I have a rough sense. We could reproduce some of these plots. Um, I'm curious to see what the data looks like. So this is all R code. Um, it's pretty easy to write in Python. Um, I'm going to, because I'll be using Streamlit in the graph library Altair, uh, I'm going to create a Python file. Um, for some reason, JupyterLab, I don't know, I can't really create a Python file. I can create a notebook. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the console and create it. So, uh, oh, there we go. So that should have, let's see, there we go. Um, I'm going to open it with Jupy text. Uh, this is just a convenient way to open a Python file as a notebook. Um, to kick things off, I'll probably just read the data in pandas. Um, it's pretty easy to do, so uh, usually I just copy this, and then rather than using readr, uh, I just swap in pandas. So hopefully that works. Cool. Um, so there are uh, three data sets. Um, let's see, goals probably goals per game, goals per season. Uh, this is the top scoring uh, players. Let's see. Cool, so this is information about them, I guess, years active, uh, total goals scored. Don't know what that is, that's a real mystery. Um, probably from the uh, API they pulled from hockeyreference.com. Um, yeah, and these are more details to hockeyreference.com. Um, we could take a quick look. Let's, uh, yeah, let's glance at this. So, um, just gonna read it in, actually, maybe in the next cell. So, uh, oh, oh, let's see. Okay, so we could go to, if you wanted to, oh, 
So this is a tricky thing. We can't uh, grab this. We have a couple options. One we can, um, I use a thing called variable inspector, I think would let us, if it works, sometimes it uh, doesn't work. So that's a problem. Um, what we can do is we can either, we could pull it out of the data frame. Another option is we can use um, QGrid, port show grid. Um, Oh, let's just do it here. So show grid. All right. And this should let us uh, expand out this link. So let's look, this is um, Wayne Gretzky. Oh, can I not? There we go. Um, grab that. Nice. So here we can see some info uh, about him. Looks like some trophies he's won, uh, things like that. Cool. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and pull. So I would say to start, maybe we can grab those top eight players just to recreate um, something like this. So uh, we'll grab the top eight goal scorers. Um, and then this is uh, probably using goals per game, something like that. Um, all right, so uh, let's see. So let's grab game goals, we've got it. Uh, top 250, we've got it. So let's do this, we'll name it, uh, put it in the, just gonna move it up here. Game goals. I'm gonna move this import up. All right, so we're in business. Um, let's run this. All right, so I think what we'll do is first we want to uh, filter top eight uh, scores. I'm just gonna write this out. Then we want to um, get them from game goals. Then somehow we need to plot. Uh, need kind of like um, goals at time relative to age. Uh, that's uh, this piece right here. Because the goals are probably, I'm guessing game goals is using the calendar date the game happened on. So we'll need to calculate it probably relative to their age. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and grab. So from the top 250, um, I'm also going to import uh, Suba, which is the data analysis library I use and develop. Um, so we'll get mutate, summarize, filter, group by. Um, so this will let us uh, use this convenient syntax. So we'll filter where, oh, they've got a rank so that, uh, you know what, I'm not totally sure. Maybe, why is this rank NAN, I wonder? Um, it's pretty mysterious. It's hard to say. We'd have to probably look at their um, total goals, which doesn't seem to be in this uh, data. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, weird. Oh, uh, this is total goals. This is total games. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure, but we can we can calculate it from the data. So. Let's, um, yeah, I wonder, I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna filter out uh, raw rank dot is NA. So a uh, filter to keep. So I just wanna see how many NA ranks we have. We have 84, um, and I'm guessing top 250 is a 250 row, 251 row data frame for some reason. Um, this could be mm, ties or something, hard to say. Uh, Let's look here, raw rank, blank if it's a duplicate. Uh, it's pretty mysterious. I'm not sure if, maybe that means, um, yeah, it might mean they're tied with someone. Uh, so 
let's grab, um, let's just look at the rows around here. So around 16, one thing we can do is we can do top 250 dot uh, loc, um, say like 14 to 17. All right, so here's the NAN. Yeah, it looks like they're, um, we might need to sort by raw rank. Uh, I'm guessing it's sorted, so um, I, I also wonder if this is a typo. This isn't games, but goals. That's what this looks like. Let's just, um, let's fix that uh, right here. So I'm going to just do dot rename for simplicity. Wow. Oh, no, I got to silence that. Uh, let me just turn off Slack. Yoink. So um, we're going to change uh, total games to uh, total goals. Cool. That's just pure pandas. Um, and then, yeah, I'm guessing this is a min, sort of like a min rank. So uh this this one's a tie so it's nan you could fill this say like we could forward fill um with this so uh i'm a big fan of the dense rank though so maybe we could do that uh let me just show you what that looks like so top 250 mutate um and pandas, so one convenient thing I put into Suva is that um, there are these uh, helper functions. Uh, sometimes they implement things that aren't in uh, pandas. Other times they implement things that a person coming from R would want to know. So um, for example, in this case, uh, dense rank is just equivalent to pandas with the method dense here. Um, that's easy. That's helpful for me to remember because in R, uh, there's an actual dense rank function in um, the package D plier. Um, all right, so uh, we could do that. So we could do uh, total goals dot rank method equals dense. Um, oh, I need to set it right here. So I'll name this dense rank. Um, ooh, that doesn't seem right. He's got a dense rank of, oh, uh, it's ascending. So we need, um, let's see, top 250 dot total goals dot rank. Um, ascending equals false. All right, let's do that. Cool. So there we go. And then now... If we look, so I'm going to, um, just gonna use this for now. Select, uh, I'm gonna grab um, raw rank player and dense rank so we can look at them side by side. All right, dense rank and let's grab total goals too, total goals. Oops, I need to import it. Okay, so we can see, uh, let's show grid. Um, sorry, this is messy, but uh, very temporary. So, uh, oh, that's weird. The raw rank here seems, oh, now I'm confused. Oh, it's here. So notice um, what dense rank did is when there was a tie, it set it to um, the minimum. And then notice the other thing is that it actually only progressed it by one. So though these are two ranks, some ranking methods would have jumped, even if they marked them both 16, they would have jumped to say 18. Um, here, dense rank, um, every uh, possible rank a person could have is represented. So one through um, some number here, which will depend on the number of ties. So here it's one through 167 because there are, mm, you know, like 80 uh, tied values. All right, so um, we can 
get rid of some of this. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this in uh, quotes, and then I'm gonna black format it so that we have a nice uh, pipe. Um, great. So then, uh, I don't think we need this. Okay, and then we can, um, let's see, filter um, where dense rank is less than, let's just say 10. Um, all right, so these are our players. This is the one, the person who got 700 and the article mentioned top, they were looking at the top eight, so this looks pretty good. All right, so we've got that. Now let's um, uh, get these players from game goals, so uh, take a look. All right, I think we can, um, I'm guessing we could just use the player name. They might also have a player ID, let's see. No, looks like uh, it's going to be player name probably. So, um, all right, so top 250, we have player, game goals. I think it's the same player. So what we can do is uh, we can do this in Pandas. So merge, um, oop, we'll need to finish this, um, top eight. Um, how equals inner, that's great, on equals uh, player, great, oh, oh yeah, and then um, the one way we could check this really fast is we could say dot player dot n unique, uh, I gotta fix this, oh six, so that's bad, let's see, um, let's do unique players just to see, um, all right, and then if we look at the top eight players, um, can we sort this? Uh, let's see, uh, I actually can't remember. Is there a sort method? Oh, it does it in place, I think. So uh, let's do, we'll do players, players.sort, players again. I mean, we could have done here, actually, one thing we could do is we'll just pass it to the built-in function sorted. All right, uh, I'll do it here too, just for convenience. Um, all right, so we're missing Gordy Howe, uh, Marcel. I'm gonna just note a couple of these down. Uh, Marcel, Dion. Um, and then uh, it looks like Phil Esposito. I think um, my guess is that um, maybe they played, I think I saw a note that um, here they only have game data f uh, after 1980. And I think that here, Yeah, so Gordy Howe uh, played before 1980. One thing we can do is, uh, I think actually in the data we have this. So um, I'm gonna let this stay messy for a bit and then I'll clean it up. We have this right here, so years active. Um, and this year start, so we can do um, year start is before 1980. Nah, uh, 79, I guess. Yep, there it is. So we won't have uh, these players. I think they do, yeah. So they're probably using a different uh, data set. All right. Um, well, we could check. I th I'm guessing it's the same for season goals. Let's see. Well, um, we could use maybe the um, season info, and maybe that's what they do also. Uh, 
it doesn't really well it's hard to say i mean um it doesn't look like they're using season info because they're uh moving up within years so uh anyway let's just use the ones we have with um game goals so all right um in suba we can use the uh inner join function um this is just a wrap around actually suba also has a more general join function um if you're wondering why to use this rather than emerge uh it's that suba can um generate queries in sql it can also optimize grouped uh operations so by using these things it lets suba uh perform optimizations uh in this case it's probably not um too critical so let's see uh actually this is fine so top eight game goals inner join top eight on player Ooh, i gotta run it oh i did a bad thing oh it needs a um it takes this placeholder to indicate that it's um it's a verb or an action that operates on two tables so top eight and um, game goals all right so this is joined um, one thing we can do is uh, I'm gonna put this in a new um, cell so put this here I'm gonna shrink this um, this was pretty handy we'll move it up I can't remember how to move cells oh this is kind of scary there we go um, so we can also do distinct uh, players oh I need to sorry I normally just import all of these um, alright so we can also see these six uh, players in the data we can also um, count that will let us um, I need to I should have just imported everything so uh, this will let us see how many games they played um, let's see but uh, let's do I'm gonna do top eight games you know I actually don't need this so um, and top eight games uh, cool this one nice thing about count is we can do other things so we can for example say um, how many games did uh, Alex play um, per uh, year where is it date um, or, oh, oh no, 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 date, uh, date dot dt dot year, maybe. Oh, no. Is date not a, let me see. I think, um, let me double check the uh, type of date. So top eight games dot date. Oh, it's an object. Let's see, dot dt dot year. Nope. Oh, we gotta do pd dot to date time. Or uh, we can do as type, oh uh, shoot, uh, I think date time. I think this is just day. I think we can, well, I know this works. This is to the nanosecond. Uh, date time 64 bit yeah uh, I think we can also do this to the day oh that actually didn't uh, appear to have any effect nope you yeah, have no idea um, one reason you might not want to use nanoseconds is that uh, dates very far in the future um, 
it can't represent and it will often throw an error. Um, but here it's fine. So oop, uh, now we can do something like this. So dt.year, we can just get the year component off this. So I think we can do this with count. Let me see date.as type. Uh, just copy this here. Um, we might need to name this column. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, so I can do this like year. Um, and we can see, so these are the number of games he played per year. Um, we can also, we don't have to filter even the player. So um, we could, for example, leave this here and we could do uh, player and year. So now notice we're counting per player per year. How many games did they play? Um, let's go ahead and quickly, uh, that's fine. Uh, just plot this to see um, how many games people are playing. I'm going to, uh, I don't use Altair very much, but um, let's try it. So have we imported it? Nope. Altair is alt. Um, alt dot uh, chart games per year. Oh, that wasn't right. Oh, I think uh, it's just trying to maybe show it. So, and then um, mark, uh, let's just do point for now, just to show that it works. And then I think it's in code uh, x equals date. Oh, uh, x equals year, um, y equals n, shoot. So let me, um, let me double check. So games per year, fine. Um, let me look at the Altair docs real fast. Maybe I missed something. Alt.chart dot encode seems okay. Uh, oh, this, I don't know why I put this in a list. Dumb. So this will look really funky because, uh, well, first it looks like it goes to back to the origin. Uh, that's not ideal. I think um, the other thing is that, uh, I mean, let's see if we can, this has to represent year as a time. Oh, but that, that actually did some pretty weird uh, things. So let's see, um, I'm gonna double check games per year. And year is a, so the problem is it's a um, integer. I think um, maybe we just don't. So what we can do is we can say, uh, uh, not ordinal, I guess. Yeah, it's weird that it, let's try, uh, I'm gonna Google Altair. Huh. Should be okay. Um, maybe we have to convert year for Altair benefit to a, uh, I'm just gonna do this here. I'm gonna convert it to a string. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I don't know what's up. I think Altair did weird things when it received years in uh, integer. Um, but at least this gets us in the door. So uh, this obviously is an ideal. Um, now the other thing is uh, we could do, I think lines. Yep. There's something funky going on though because um, each player Right, we want to separate out lines per player. Uh, I'm going to glance at how to do it in Altair really quick, quickly since I don't, oh, that's not a lot of, uh, here. Um, great, 
So it'll be something like uh, this or this. Um, let's take a look. So it looks like you can just set a color and that will do it. So let's do color equals player. Cool. It's um, it's a little bit hard to read. Uh, yeah. So, um, it looks like because, oh, let's do um, cumulative because obviously when players are active, they're playing kind of the same amount of games. So, um, this will be uh, so I want to group by player. And then I want to summarize, or not summarize, I want to mutate. So I want to just um, add a new column, which is uh, cumulative uh, games. And that will be, uh, what is it? So it's we have n, and then uh, what's, oh, I can't remember. And I'm really spacing how to, uh, I think it's this in pandas let's see that might not have been it uh oh this is a alter got mad at me let's see so um i think the other thing is we need to actually uh ungroup it because in suba you can do multiple um grouped operations all right so games per year Okay, and then um, now we'll use uh, here cumulative games. Cool. That's not. You know, I'm realizing that actually they kind of have like the same number. Of, it's it's not surprising to me at all. Well, maybe a little bit, but in general, like when you're active, uh, you're playing the same number of games per year. So. Not the most exciting plot. Um, let's go back to this one though. This puts us in a good place to calculate this because we can just do here um, cumulative goals. Uh, oh, no, we can't because we, we're counting uh, by year. Let's just start a new uh, cell. So I'm going to grab this top eight games put this in a pipe um, we want uh, let me glance we want to get the cumulative uh, goals so we have where is it um, where's the number of goals per game? Let me glance here. So game goals, player season rank date, game number, age. Oh, we, we do actually have their age. So that's convenient. Um, goals. So what we can do is we can just group by player. Um, and then we can doesn't matter I'll just black format um, mutate uh, cumulative goals okay this is wrong equals uh, goals dot cumulative sum cool so then as long as it was ordered we I mean we could do the order explicitly we could arrange by um, probably season and uh, or date it's just arranged by um, it would be date dot the same we, we need to convert it to a date column again or crazy things will happen um, ooh, I need to import that he's getting a little long in the tooth uh, crap oh you know what arrange doesn't worked on group data yet all right 
So yeah, so here we've explicitly uh, arranged it. Um, let's see, so cumulative goals. Um, let's just do that. Oops. All right, that was black formatting. Uh, and then let's make an Altair chart. Uh, top eight goals dot um, lines dot encode date um, and y equals cumulative goals. Let's see how this goes. Ah. So this needs a type for some reason. Let's, let's try quantitative. Uh, no, it hates me. Let's see, so uh, encode. Let's try taking this out real fast. Oh, um, sorry, again, I need to ungroup. Oh, there's too many rows in my data set. Whoa. So uh, that's not fun. Um, oh, that makes sense. So let's, um, you know, we can do the same. We can, let's aggregate by year again. I mean, we could have just used uh, season, um, but, uh, or week, maybe we could aggregate. Let me look at, um, I'm curious to see just the, just this piece. So, how many? How often are they playing games? Um, it's like ten, ten. Oh, uh, sort by player and then date. So, you know, he's playing like multiple games a week. So, one thing we could do is we could aggregate by month, maybe. Um, so that would be something like, um, let's see, we can do uh, group by month equals date dot dt, or again, we've got to do this. Oh, it's just, I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do is because we keep doing this, I'm going to just convert it to be a date time and then that'll let us do things like this. And then dt.month. Uh, you know, I'm realizing though, here, let's grab this for now, just to show it. Um, one, one problem with this is that, uh, let's see, where did we, I'm missing a oh um top eight goals uh the problem is that what am I oh dt dot month so date dot dt dot month just returns a we actually want something like a floor date so we want uh we want the full date um just truncated to month. So, uh, for example, here we want this, but we want, say, like, um, this to be maybe 1979-10-1, 1979-10-1, right? So, like, all these months are just using the floor um, of that month. And there is a, I think there's a floor method. Um, I always forget how to use it, so that's a bad sign. I think... Um, yeah, you could do something like month. Oh no, you can't. Uh, oh, this one, I can't remember. There's a weird trick to this. Um, let's see, so you can do it like to the hour. Unfortunately, I don't think you can do it to the month. Uh, let's try a month. I don't think you, yeah, because it's a, non-fixed frequency. Um, ah, 
uh, let me Google really fast. I always forget how to do this. So pandas floor month start. Yep. This is a really classic uh, manipulation that happens in data analysis. Um, okay, so that's a pretty wild thing to be able to do. Uh, sure, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, okay, so they normally suggest you convert to a period. Let's try this one. This seems pretty convenient. Uh, So, um, month begin one. Great. Yeah, we've done it. So, uh, copy this. Okay. And then, um, so what we want to do is, uh, we want to do it here. So, Yes, and then mutate and then ungroup. Okay, no luck. Let's see. Oh, um, not dt dot month. Just date minus month begin. Let's take a look. Top eight. Top eight goals. Yes, I think we did it. So month, nice. Uh, Sorry, that was a, a real doozy. I um, also didn't know Altair can't do more than 5,000. Uh, yeah, so now we'll do a summarize so that we're um, counting for each month. So now we'll do uh, total goals equals goals.sum. And then we're gonna group by just player, and then we'll um, calculate the cumulative goals. Um, so that'll be total goals dot sum. There's probably a more concise way to do it. Uh, I don't really wanna go back and figure it out. All right, so this is a nuts thing. Uh, oh. Um, but we'll also need to color by player. So color equals player. Great. Um, black formatted. This looks pretty good. Um, it's weirdly not as, it looks a little different from this plot. Uh, oh, because they're, we're doing it by date. They did it by age. So let's, so this is it by date. Now let's do it by age. And the way we can do it is actually we could just put, I would just put age in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is, so let's look at, uh, let's look at everything up to here. So I'm gonna print out top eight goals. Notice this is player month total goals. It'd be nice if we could have their age. Let's just do it. Let's get it every month. We'll just get their age to be uh, age dot min. You know, whatever you were at the first game of the month. All right. Um, that's pretty nuts. So maybe I misunderstood or maybe actually age was encoded as a string and something crazy happened. Let's see, top eight games dot age. Oh, I don't know even what that means. So, uh, oh, there's a, I think I saw a better formatted age column though. Let's look, so age, age in year days. Uh, so he's 20 years, 20 days. 
So we're going to need to strip out this piece. Um, that's not too bad. So what I would do is I'd do string dot. Um, there's a there's a better way to do this, but uh, oh, didn't work. Let's see. String dot split dot string dot get zero. That's uh, there's definitely a better way to do it. Um, one way you can do it is uh. We could use a regular expression to pull it out. Um, I think there's also maybe the option in string.split to get just the zero with entry. Let's take a look at that. Nope. Uh, huh. Oh, maybe I have to. I thought that. CN. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, this is a pretty good one, so. All right, let's do that. The other way is to use a, a regular expression. Um, all right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna put it here in this mutate where we're doing a lot of formatting. Um, cool. Uh, and then, the nice thing about the pipe is we can just keep commenting things out and see what it looks like. All right, so now we mutated age and it's just 20. Or uh, I could say age year here if we want to keep the original. Um, one thing we probably want to do is change it to a integer. So, it, oh, not, okay, that was dumb. Uh, so it's easy to get the um, uh, the minimum. All right. Cool. You may notice it takes a little bit of time to run. That's because um, Suba uh, right now these aren't uh, fully optimized for um, group data, but you can do from Suba dot experimental dot pd groups. Um, import fast summarize and this should work let's see yeah notice it runs a lot faster um, great so cumulative goals looking good um, all right so now we want to put a uh, min age here um, we got it let's see let's see how we're doing cool this is the, sorry, this is the original plot. So let's now, um, I'm just gonna move these plots into their own cell so we can do two of them. So this plot will be, uh, this is just by month, and then this will be by, uh, actually one thing we can do is we can say, uh, we can save this chart I mean, it's not the most, uh, it doesn't save the most typing, but um, you can even encode uh, y equals cumulative goals by quarter, um, color equals player. And then what we can do is uh, we can just change up what the x is here. So cool. And then we can do p goals uh, dot encode x equals um age years. Nope, that's sad. So uh, I think it's a quantitative. Nope. Let's take a look at um, top eight goals. Oh, I did um. Age min, that's dumb. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna name this the same thing. Uh, okay, great. And now we're now we're doing it. So, oh, this is gonna do a weird thing though. So, I wonder why. Let's just try this. Nope. Oh, it hates me. 
Is it maybe an ordinal or a... oh, that's not good. So uh, let's look again. Top eight goals. Ajir seems totally fine to me. Um, yeah, that's great. And uh, it's an integer. I wonder why it's not uh, p goals dot encode x equals h years. Huh. Does not match any column in the data. Oh, sorry, I need to run this again. So we can put this here. So when we run the data updates, that was a dumb thing. All right. So that looks, I think it looks pretty good. Um, this is a pretty good recreation. We could have done, if we wanted be better resolution, we could have done by week, something like that. Uh, it's not that, it's actually probably not that hard to do. Uh, I'm sure there's like a week begin. Let's just try it, see what happens. Nope, all right. Just gonna back right out of there. Um, okay, we got this. Um, I'm gonna try in the last 12 minutes to end with uh, converting this to a streamlit app. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm gonna name this uh, streamlit uh, hockey streamlit. I'm gonna open it. Oh wait, maybe it's opened. Oh, because this is the copy. All right, so rename this hockey, hokey, uh, hockey. All right, well, um, okay, so now, actually this one is the Streamlit app now, so let's um, just import Streamlit as ST. One thing we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna put the data into a special tool. I think it's streamlit.cache. Uh, is it like this? Let me glance. I really need a, I should have put an example here. So yep, so this will help so it doesn't have to rerun functions. Uh, and then we'll just do this. Cool. And notice um, now when we call it, uh, it won't uh, take as long if we call it multiple times. Um, Okay, and then um, put this in there. Show it dot cache. Uh, top two fifty. Cool. All right, and then um, I think to be able to run this in the notebook, actually, we have to maybe do some things. Maybe not. So. Um, we don't need this anymore. Yeah, we got these top eight. I'm gonna. So one nice thing we can do then is uh, rather than. So if we want to be able to see, for example, like the top two fifty, we can just put it like this. Um, oops, and I don't think we can run this in our console anymore. Let's um. I'm going to start up streamlit. So streamlit run 202003 hockey streamlit. Uh-oh. Oh, I need to So I use a virtual environment um, that wasn't uh, loaded. Okay, great. So let's put this here. Minimize this. 
Oh, we gotta let's see. So now all of this is busted up. Let's um I'm gonna do this really fast just for a placeholder. So um Just so I think we'll be able to run the full analysis. So, um, I'm gonna see. Did I leave something? The issues is we have so much code now. Um, seems fine. I don't know. One challenge is that, uh, so I'm not sure what Streamlit does. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna toggle out for now. Just rerun everything. Top 250 equals just to make sure um, it works. And I also restart my kernel. So I'm going to restart and just run everything just to sanity check it. Um, this looks good. Great. It's very possible that actually uh, something broke in this process. Nope. Um, okay, so let's try to figure out, I'll save this. Oh, yeah, I don't know. So um, one thing it is I saved the notebook, maybe that had a big impact. Um, cool, but this is the data here. Um, Let's see, so let's, um, I wish I actually could just comment out. Um, all right, I'm gonna open the, do I hide my console? I'm gonna open the raw Python file and just comment out um, a bunch of the code and we can go, well, actually, hold on, we can, um, I think we can just, make this work. So uh, I'm going to leave this as it is for now. Um, I think this is what we see here, the top eight, filtering those three. Um, so what we can do is streamlit.write um, top eight players not in our data. And save it. Let's see what happens. Rerun. Nice. Um, games for year, all terrace chart. So I think what we'll have to do here is, um, I think streamlit.write. Cool. But I'm actually, I'm going to take this uh, out. Yep. That's not a very exciting one. Did I? Oh, but I just murdered um, top eight games. So I'm gonna move this into here. I'm gonna actually move it up. So this will be most of our pre-processing. Um, all right, gonna get rid of this dumb cell. Uh, how do we feel about this plot? Mm, I feel pretty good about it. All right, so streamlit.write. Uh, this plot, and then streamlit dot write this plot. Get rid of this. Cool. Um, now we rerun. All right, we got our two plots. Um, so then, um, one thing we can do is, so let's see. I think. Uh,
think we should have done per season. So uh, I'm going to quickly add an option here. So st dot, um, I think, check box. Yep. And um, uh, choose a time. And it'll either be month or age years. And then what we'll do is we'll actually just set this here and we'll get rid of this. So now um, oh, I do the bad things. Let's see. I do the wrong label value oh maybe i forgot how a checkbox works. oh this isn't a checkbox at all oh it's dumb so uh and it's a drop down let's see uh, yeah i thought it was called or select it's a common select box I rerun. Cool. So notice now you can select, you can toggle different uh, options. One interesting thing would be uh, if we could. Um, so we have that season data. I think that because we have this limitation of. 5,000. We can't really plot the games themselves because Altair has a limitation of 5,000 points on the plot. Um, I guess that makes sense. It'd be a pretty cumbersome thing to render. Um, but we could look at the season goals. I think that this would be, this would work out fine. So um, I'm going to do season goals, goals pd.readcsv. I'll move this up later. Um, We'll probably use the same join, I'm guessing. Let's just go for it. Top eight seasons, um, season goals. Let's see if that works. Nice, so top eight seasons. Oh, and uh, yeah, years. And then, oh, these have some shared uh, these two data sources have some shared column names, so you can see um, season goals will get the suffix X and top eight will get the suffix Y when they share columns. So uh, one thing we can do is, uh, I'm not actually sure suffix is implemented yet. Uh, let's see, so this would be season player. Yeah, I need to actually need to implement that. But we can why don't we just do it as a merge dot merge top eight on or by player. And I think this works. Or is it on? Let's see. Uh, suffixes. Okay. So now we have um season here uh, cool so now I think what would be useful is if we did um, a cumulative sum um, so let's do uh, I can do it in raw pure pandas actually so um, we'll group by player and then um, we definitely should Just assuming it's sorted, which is maybe a bad idea, but um, it will become very clear to us. So, uh, and this will be a um, transform, I think. So, player uh, total goals. Wait. Oh, they already have it. So total goals. So let's. Um, why don't we? Uh, 
Oh, this isn't as exciting as I thought. I was going to say we could use a checkbox to um, to look at some of these season things. Uh, yeah, we could do that. Why don't we do that? Uh, so there was a lot of interesting things we could have looked at. Uh, I spent a lot of time doing some date uh, formatting. But um, why don't we create this checkbox here? And this checkbox will just be actually the Y value. Um, and you could imagine it's something like total goals per season, uh, or it's, uh, let me look at the, need to set this um, well, uh, I think it's column options equals something like not expanding it let's see um, this is a very common thing force fit columns false is the magic phrase oh maybe not is that grid options? Yeah. So um, let's look at, uh, so we could plot things like season games. We could plot things like goals for the game, assists. Let's do, so let's add these to our goals, uh, assists, points. Uh, I don't know what a lot of these things mean. Uh, yeah, I think that's a kind of useful set of options. And then we can do Altair.chart uh, top eight seasons uh, dot mark. I guess we do a line. We'll see how that goes. Um, dot encode y equals uh, this y value um, color equals player we'll set x to be where's the season um, hopefully this has a year start season so year start season I think um, we'll have to do All right, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna code one right now. So I'm gonna put in total goals season just to see. Oh, um, X Altar. Okay, that's a bad idea. All right, so I did something wrong. I think it's probably probably has to do with this year start season being a um, let's set it ordinal oh. let's see so ideally we should have some data points in there wonder why total goal season great seems fine to me Let's set this quantitative and just see. Nope. Um, huh. Mark point. Okay. There's. Oh. Uh, huh. So, how big is our data? Let's see. Two hundred seventeen rows. That seems right. Uh, you know, I bet um, maybe total goals is not. Oh, it's uh, this is the person's total goals ever. I think um, did we? This looks right. So I don't know why um, total goals is just the. It's not a cumulative, I guess. It's just the. It's this number total goals player. So. Um, I think we can calculate it. 
pretty easily though. So let's just do that. Um, uh, top eight seasons dot group by player dot. Um, I think it's just goals dot cumulative sum. I think this works. Yeah. And then um, we'll just set this back. So top eight seasons. All right, just put that there. This is pretty classic uh, panda style. And then we'll look at, uh, let's look at cumulative goals. Great. So this is getting there. Yes. Uh, it's pretty weird. Um, year start season looks wrong also. So this looks like a, actually, should this have been, huh? So it looks like uh, total goals and year start is a player. We need um, year season, it looks like. Uh, let's look again at this grid. So, um, or maybe we can look at this data. Uh, so years, yeah, we might need this. Uh, where is the actual specific season? So we need this season here. We're gonna need to do a little bit of formatting on it. Um, let's see, so let's um, do the same. So we'll do the split that we did before. I'm gonna keep going Panda style so you can see it. Uh, Season start equals top eight seasons dot um, season dot split mm, string dot split dot string dot get zero. Great. And so now let's do that. Season start. Yeah, there we go. And then um, let's do a line now. Cool. Whew. All right, that was a lot of work. So the reason they did it by age, I'm guessing, is that um, so it wouldn't uh, be like thrown all across uh, the graph. But we're I think we're running a bit short in time. Let's um let's wrap up. So uh, we got this. Let's do now YVAL. And let's check our um, app. Cool. No, ah, we are so close. Uh, why thou? Cool. Oh, uh, this probably, I, there might be an easier way to do this, but um, let's see. Yeah, so this is, I guess we would really need to, um, we would probably want to set it relative to their age. Uh, we, we've got a minute, let's just um, finish that. So since we got so close, I think, um, how hard would it be? Let's see, do we have their age when the season starts? Because that would be the dream. And it seems like we might, I don't know. Yeah, legit seems like we might have it. I don't know. Uh, I'm confused why there are multiple rows for the same season. Um, it's a mystery. So, but this is his age, so this is perfect. Um, let's uh, use that. So rather than season start, we'll just go by age. 
Yeah, we could even encode that into another select box. Let's do that. Oh, um, yeah, now it's not going to show up. But uh, choose x axis, um, season, start, or age. I'm going to put age first because it will probably show up the nicest. All right, let's see. Yeah, cool. I think this looks great. So, um, similar, right? These aren't too different. This one's just broken down by month. This one's broken down by season. So we can look at season start. It's a very wide plot. Oops. Um, X now. I wonder if we'll have to do something about it being ordinal. Um, I'll show how we could do that uh, if it comes to it. Let's see. No, I think it's totally fine. So, um, all right, this is a similar plot uh, as the article. We could do some cleaning up to polish it. We could add a line for 700. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. So uh, the last thing I'll do uh, after the video is I'll, I'll just write some more headers right here just so there's a little bit of information um, actually let's okay let's do it now so uh, let's do streamlit.write um, goals by season and then here I'll write um, streamlit.write goals by quarter or uh, month and um, I'm going to uncomment now those alternative ways of reading the data this will be nice so that um, streamlit doesn't need to rerun every time ah oh I didn't return um, so now streamlit won't need to run these sort of more cumbersome functions each time. Cool, so this looks good. This one could be put up here. Uh, let's do this, let's just finish it off. So streamlit.cache, um, season goals. This means when we reload the app, it won't need to keep doing this. So data season goals. Cool. Um, yeah, nice. So that's our app. Um, thanks for watching. I think, uh, actually, I'd love, I have one more thing I'd like to do. Sorry, I keep uh, <laughs> expanding this out, but um, it'd be nice to do the sidebar, I think. Um, and I think that what you can do is, uh, oh, sidebar.markdown. And, um, you can add like a cool like my app thing. Oops. Oh no, I tried to save this page. That's not right. All right. So um, rerun. Notice here it shows up. Uh, this is useful because um, now we can, for example, add some links. So let's go to Tidy Tuesday. Um, all right, so we'll get the Tidy Tuesday page. Uh, hockey, hockey goals, 700 club. Um, Tidy Tuesday um, entry or uh, uh, data. We can post to the article, Washington Post article this um, and I'll put this under resources cool nice so this is pretty slick right now we have a app um, I'm gonna move this down to uh, here I'm gonna move this down under goals by month um, Actually, let's just do it. Uh, oh, 
could I take this from? Oh gosh, I'm really doing a lot of crazy things. So uh, I'm going to put this um, here. I'm going to put this here. So it's a section. All right, and that'll show that here, these are the players not in our data. These are the players. Um, this is now looking at seasons. All right. So we went through analyzing the hockey data from Tidy Tuesday. We did some quick processing, uh, things like uh, date times uh, that could really trip you up. We split some data, um, and then we built a dashboard using um, Altair. So hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment um, or uh, Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chow the Dog. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions and talk more about um, tools like Streamlit and Altair. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, hope to hope you tune in again.